everyone, I'm Lauren Andrego. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The fourth ranked St. Thomas football team closes its regular season home schedule Saturday when Gustavus brings its pass oriented offense to O'Shaughnessy Stadium. Tommy's defensive back Chris Fondakowski, who was named MIAC Special Teams Player of the Week, will try to help shut down the conference's third best passing attack. Linebacker Matt Mitchell and the Tommies face the challenge of matching last year's defensive performance when Gustavus didn't score a touchdown. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso, Chris Bondakowski, and Matt Mitchell. Guys, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for, thanks having, for us. having us. Coach, it's clear that the Tommies are now feeling comfortable enough to take risks on offense. What did it take to reach that level of confidence and start executing more comp complex plays? Uh, the, the complexity of the plays have not necessarily changed. We've been doing the same thing. Certainly, some teams offer more things uh, available. Last week, for instance, uh, they came out and they were very comfortable playing a very heavy box uh, with nine guys in the box and were allowing us to throw it. So it's probably less a function of the timing uh, and more a function of being balanced on offense and then given an opportunity, uh, being able to produce when they're light in one area or the other. Awesome. And Chris, you were able to turn a blocked kick into a touchdown on Saturday. What was running through your mind as you made that play considering you don't always get those game time opportunities? Well, I just, I followed my coaching, and as I came off the edge, I noticed there was nobody blocking me, so it was fairly easy to just take it from there, still myself, and then get a nice block from Andrew, take care of the punter, and get in the end zone. And Matt, you also made one of three blocked kicks on Saturday. How does team culture change when other parts of the team are able to step up and execute big plays? When all three parts of the team are firing on all cylinders, and we were able to block kicks like that on plays that we're not even supposed to be blocking kicks on and just just because our hustle and effort puts us in a position to be able to make plays like that it just makes everyone feel better makes us feel like home. Awesome. And Coach Gustavus runs a more pass heavy offense than your last few opponents. What's the approach to slowing down that offense this weekend? Well they're certainly potent in the passing attack there's no question but since they've had a couple injuries on offense and moved some guys around they've really rounded out their run game and they're doing it with multiple backs in the backfield and motions and some really uh, interesting plays. So it's probably trended more towards a, a, a running attack than it was earlier in the year with the passing attack because of those injuries. But look, any team that comes in, I know a couple things. Number one, we're going to get their best game in terms of their effort. We're going to get their best game in terms of their scheme. And I'm sure that they're going to have some wrinkles in there that we're going to have to figure out and adjust. And what makes me feel most at home, I love that Matt used that term, is that, you know, yes, we have good football players, but they're tremendously thoughtful. And when thrown something that uh, we're not exactly expecting, I know that these guys will figure it out in very short fashion and adjust and go forward from there. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. The Tommies kick off with the Gusties Saturday at 110. Be sure to follow Tommy Media for full game coverage. With Glenn Caruso, Chris Fondakowski, and Matt Mitchell, I'm Lauren Andrego. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week on The Locker Room.